Hello, thanks for watching another Tactical Cowboy video. Today I have for you a product review. This is the A-Grip from Brooks Tactical Systems. I only know of three grip enhancement products on the market. The first one is rubber grips. Rubber grips are a great addition to help absorb some of the energy and to reduce some of the felt recoil. The downside is whenever your hands get sweaty, they start to get slippery, which defeats the purpose of having the grips anyways. The next grip is your stick-on abrasive type, and they do a great job at giving you the extra friction you need to get a firm grip on your handgun. Because they're so abrasive, it can make concealed carry very uncomfortable. Even shooting the gun can get uncomfortable after a little while. Your third option is the growing in popularity and maybe even a little tactical frame stippling. Frame stippling is a great way to get a permanent aggressive texture on your firearm. Without wearing an undershirt, it can be very rough on the skin. And unless you do it yourself, then paying someone is very costly plus the added downtime. But they're the fourth option and it comes in the form of the A-Grip. The A-Grip gives you all the benefits of the others plus some extras. I would describe the A-Grip as a fiber. Think of it of a felt-like material. But before I get more in depth on that, let's take a look at the packaging. Included inside the packaging you have a cover sheet which gives you some product details and one thing that they list that I haven't been able to test yet is that they claim that it works even better with sweaty hands. That's something I'll be testing in the future. Next you have your instruction booklet. The A-Grip itself, which this is a 5x8 sheet that can be used on whatever you'd like around the house. You have alcohol swabs to clean the frame and then you have extra adhesive just in case it takes you several tries to get the A-Grip aligned. This is the A-Grip for the models Glock 42 and 43. I chose to put the A-Grip on the Glock 42. Even though the 380 doesn't have a lot of recoil, I knew it could still greatly benefit from the A-Grip. Mr. Brooks himself told me that the A-Grip really shines on small handguns with a lot of recoil, such as subcompacts and 40 Smith & Wesson. That makes sense, but that just isn't my caliber of choice. So given the options that I had, I thought that my Glock 42 would benefit most. So when it came to installing the A-Grip, the hardest part was making sure that it was pulled tight so that none of the material bunched up on you. Even if you didn't get it in the first or maybe even the second try, the adhesive is sticky enough that you have several tries to get it right. So to answer your question as to whether or not the A-Grip works or not, Absolutely it does. Now even though the 380 doesn't have a lot of recoil, the bare polymer frame doesn't give you a lot of confidence when shooting. With the A-Grip installed, after firing one magazine, I was very surprised at how much more well planted the gun felt in my hand. So not only does it give you the confidence that the handgun isn't going anywhere, it does it comfortably without the abrasive material. So because of that, you can carry your pistol comfortably without the need for an undershirt to be used as a barrier to protect your skin from the harsh abrasives. Now even though I did enjoy this product, there are some downsides, but really it's just a matter of personal opinion. First off, I was very unsure about the magazine release being completely covered. As you can see, the left hand side of the handgun is completely covered by the A-Grip, including the magazine release. And if you look on around, the right hand side is the same way but really it doesn't affect function at all so is this a negative or a matter of personal opinion and i believe in the instructions it even mentions that because the magazine release is completely covered it's no longer susceptible to dirt or other debris so if this has ever been a problem for you in the past this could be an added benefit something to look out for is the slide release area. I went ahead and cut around mine just to avoid any possible problems in the future. 
but by doing so, you'll get first-hand experience as to just how tough the egg grip really is. So, reasons why I think that you should buy the egg grip, with the exception of their claim that it works better with sweaty hands, it is extremely functional and works as advertised. If for some reason you decide that the egg grip isn't for you and you want to remove it, I was told by Mr. Brooks that there was no messy residue left over. This was just me getting familiar with the product though. I have more testing to do coming up, including the A-Grip on an original M&P, so that I can see how it compares to M&P 2.0 with the textured frame. I'd like to thank Mr. Brooks for sending me this product and trusting that I would do an honest review. And honestly, the only downside I can find in it is all purely cosmetic. I'd also like to thank Sheepdog Firearms. I went to them to use their indoor shooting range. They have a nice facility with a very nice selection of firearms to choose from. They also have a nice selection of firearm rentals that allows you to try before you buy. Before I go, I'd just like to encourage you to join your local and national gun rights organizations. For me, I'm a member of both Bama Carry and Gun Owners of America. But until next time, God bless. Tactical Cowboy out.